In this video, I will show you how to get a custom cursor on Roblox. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. And the first thing you're going to want to do is actually choose the image that you want to use. So there's one website I would recommend that quite a lot of people that play Roblox do use to change their cursor, and that is called osuskinner.com. So if you come across to osuskinner.com and you put a forward slash and put interface, and then put another forward slash and cursor, what it's going to do is take you directly to all the mouse cursor skins you can use and you can see there's actually a lot to choose from on this page. You've actually got a lot of pages of different cursors as well. So once you've actually found one that you want to use, what you want to do is click onto the actual image. So you don't want to click the tick underneath, you click onto the actual image. And then what you want to do is come to this box which says element options, this orange box on the right hand side, and you want to click the download button. So it's going to download this as a zip file. So what you can then do is locate this in your downloads folder. And from here, what you want to do is just basically extract this. So if you right click and go down to extract all, and then you just want to extract the contents of that folder. So once it's done, it's going to come up with the extracted folder and you can get rid of the zip folder from here now, just delete that and open up the extracted folder. So you can see we've got our cursor ready to use. So the next thing we need to do is actually make four copies of this. So you just control C and then just do this four times. So we've got five different ones like this. And then from here, what you want to do is actually rename these to the following. So I've done one previously. So you can see here, we've got like ADV cursor default, ADV cursor white, arrow cursor, arrow cursor decal drag, and arrow far cursor. So you want to make sure you copy this carefully and make sure they are named correctly. And at this point, make sure you don't have the Roblox player running. Before you actually start this process, make sure you close the Roblox player down, otherwise this won't work. So once that's done and you've renamed your cursors, what you then want to do is find Roblox player. So if you come down to your search bar and you want to type Roblox in there, and then when you find the Roblox player come up, what you want to do is right click onto that and you want to go onto open file location. So it's going to load up the Roblox folder. So what you want to do from here is actually right click onto Roblox player and again, go and open file location. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is click onto the content folder. So this one here, double click, and then you want to double click onto textures and then finally double click onto cursors. So from here, you want to click onto keyboard mouse. So you want to double click. And then what we're going to do is these five cursors up here, which are going to copy and paste those. So we're going to drag these into that folder. So this one here. And if it comes up saying to replace the files, just go ahead and tick that. And what this is going to do is actually set the cursors up. So the next time you actually play a game on Roblox, it will now use this custom cursor. So I hope this video helped you out today, and if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video, and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials for everything tech and digital related. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.